Hello everyone, this is Dr. Gevrik. Today we are going to start talking about labor market discrimination. This is chapter 9. Let's get started. So in this first part, we'll talk about the general facts about labor market discrimination in the United States. Let's get started. So let's continue with a quote by Jade Jagger. She is the daughter of Mick Jagger. She said, God, what gorgeous staff I have. I just can't understand those who have ugly people working for them. I really can't. Just call me a pathetic aesthetic. So this is an example of labor market discrimination. She is just saying it based on looks. Okay. So looks are not a protected category and we'll talk about it. There's a huge literature in labor economics of um, the impact of beauty in labor market. And there's actually research by Daniel Hammermesh, who was my PhD advisor, and he even did research on professors. So he found that about average looking male professors do have higher student evaluations, but for female professors, there's no impact. So let's uh, get started. So this is something we look at, but today we're going to focus on other aspects of uh, discrimination. So differences in earnings and job opportunities may arise even among equally skilled workers employed in the same job because of race, gender, national origin, sexual orientation, gender identity, and other seemingly irrelevant characteristics such as we talked about beauty or looks, right? That's, that's really interesting <laughs> to think. Uh, but it may, right? So discrimination occurs when, so this is very important. This, when does discrimination occur? It occurs when the marketplace takes into account the above characteristics when making economic exchanges. Okay. Why do we have labor market discrimination is a deep, you know, seated question. And hopefully at the end of this, chapter will learn more about it okay so i want to show you median annual earnings for full-time workers this is 2021 numbers in 2021 dollars these are the latest uh adjusted numbers that we have so those who are aged 15 plus so white uh, men a uh, median salary is 61,740 white woman 55,000 so Women, if you look at the woman group in each category of race and ethnicity, women make less black, Hispanic, less, okay, Asian, there you go, less. So white men actually make 61,700, women make less. Black men make uh, less on, a, on an average median, less than white men. Hispanic, the same situation, Hispanic men, 45,800. Uh, and then Asian men, though, Asian men sample, they make more than uh, white men sample. Okay. So in each racial and race category, as you can see, women make less. Okay. Even in the Asian category, which Asian men actually makes more than white men. So on an average, as you can see, Asian men category is the highest. Of course, Asian population is much smaller than the uh, white population and then Asian women are the highest earning category in all race and ethnicity so I just want to show you this wage gaps are present for full-time workers so is it full-timers so is it because of maybe educational differences right inequalities in education are leading right uh, wage gaps because if Black population have limited educational opportunities, therefore completed education. Of course, they are going to earn less because in the education chapter, we learned about it, also Hispanic. And this does partially tell the story. So this is the educational distribution of people. So this is a percentage of people with high school or more education. If you look at white men sample, it's 86.5%. White women actually complete uh, they make up higher percentage of this group. So black 
men and women, they have lower percentage of people, right? Lower than white men. Hispanic, look at these numbers. 60, 63% only have high school plus education. Asian men, again, Asian women, they have higher percentage completed with actually Asian men is the highest. And Asian women is similar to white men and women. Let's take a look at people with more than college education, right? With college plus education. So this includes those complete four years of college plus master's degree, professional degree, PhD. So 30%, almost 31% of white men complete uh, college plus, white women 39. Look at this black man, 17.8, 20.6, Hispanic 12%, 14. So women have higher education. <laughs> right then men in all groups this is very in, uh, except for asian group this is very perplexing because they make less right so in the asian group as you can see more than half asian men complete college plus education while asian women complete about half that's that's very strong versus hispanic so education does explain earning gaps but it doesn't explain the whole story why because look at women. Women have higher college plus education in these groups. Okay. So another question is why do these groups have really high, uh, low uh, college completion rate? There are lots of reasons. For instance, for black men, it's the mass incarceration of black men. So at some point in Arizona, for instance, 50% of the black men, 25 plus, were incarcerated. So it's the uh, systemic, you know, incarceration of black men. It applies to, unfortunately, people of color, Hispanic and black. And then lack of opportunities. Okay, so those are, there are so many reasons. These are some reasons. Okay, so let's take a look at women's earnings as a percent of men's. So these are median usual weekly earnings of full-time wage and salary workers. These are in current dollars. So let's look at the total group, white, black, Hispanic, and Asian. The sad thing is, look, 100% is compared to men, right? If men make $100, so women's earnings are always less than 100 so this is 1980s, 90s, 2000, 2010, okay? So let's look at the 2010s, right? This is the last decade. As you can see, total is total woman versus man without, uh, without classifying based on race. So women make about 80 to 83 percent of what men make. So for every one dollar men makes, uh, men group make, women make about 82 cents. Okay. So for white group, it's little less. So in the black subcategory, black women make about 94 percent of black men, and in Hispanic population, right here. About 91%. Uh, so for every dollar a Hispanic man makes, on average, women make 91 cents. And for Asian, it's actually lower, close to the total average, 83, 84%. Okay. So as you can see, women consistently make less than men. Okay, in every subcategory, some subcategories are doing better. So this is 1980s. So you have seen, of course, it's not 100%, but in 1980s, women made about 65% of what men made. So for each $100, women made $65. Okay, sources, U.S. Bureau of Labor Statistics. Data for Asian group, this is the... Asian group, green uh, group, was, uh, sorry, not green, dark green group. <laughs> so it's this one. Where that wasn't tabulated before 2000. Okay. So as you can see, 
women always make less than men. Okay, so don't come at me though like, oh, you know what? I know a person, for instance, I'm a woman, right? And I make, and I'm in the white category because that's how I identify myself. Um, and I make more, right? More than the U.S. median population, more, all male subgroups as a professor. But we are talking about this is average, okay? So average, median, usual weekly earnings. So don't come at me with some specific examples, right? Like I have a friend who is a black CEO woman, makes a lot of money. So these are the median usual weekly earnings, okay? So I want to show you, this is the gender earnings ratios and wage gaps by race and ethnicity. This is the most, so these numbers are 2010 numbers, right? I wanted to give you a more recent number. This is the annual social and economic supplements 2022 numbers. So total, as you can see, women make about 83.7% of men, what men makes. And white group, again, it's very similar to 2010 numbers, 79%. For black group, this is like black women compared to black men, right? 92.7%. Asian group, 78.1%. And Hispanic, 862 Okay, so it hasn't changed a lot since 2010s. Okay, so you can actually click here. All right, so these are some facts about earnings by different race and ethnic groups. Education, so education seems to be explaining a little bit, but it's not the whole picture, the entire picture. So in part two, we'll talk about determinants of the male-female wage ratio, and I'll see you then.